Now next uh, is a fun because you could listen the breath of the scuba diver and the flowing of the bubbles when you breathe inside of a swimming pool. And more bubbles. Uh, when I saw Eric Dubay uh, video about bubbles, you know, you think oh, maybe with just the one or one or two, you know. But if you go in every spacewalk, every from NASA, Chinese, Russia, whatever, if you go, all all of them have space air bubbles. So. I just went one by one and made this uh, selection. Probably I have like material to at least to two more videos just about the bubbles and the noises and the water. That's a good fabric to, for protection of the vacuum of space. I think uh, the question now that uh, everyone should be making is uh, how much money have been spent on the ISS? It was a lot of money. Where is all that money? was a lot of millions spent on this station that uh, doesn't exist. Where is all the money? Where is all the gold they have put on all the electronics on the space station that's, that it's a fake? Yeah, the, the sun is a bad projection, I have to say. Uh, my sun is bigger than that one. I'm just to win some more bubbles. And the flat. It's just a pity it's a swimming pool. Otherwise, that was evidence of the flat earth. Yeah, disgraceful. Uh, anyway, thank you everyone uh, for watching my video. Hope uh, this raised a bit of concerns about the money spent and the true nature of the International Subaquatic Station. Nature of the International Space Station that I think by the end of the video, I think we should be calling it the International Subaquatic Station. All the so-called space walks are since the first one subaquatic and made in a swimming pool. Uh, first we'll have a, a launch of the space shuttle uh, where we can learn what PhD we need to have to be an octonaut. Ice cream seller and snail farmer seems to be the main re requested ones. Uh, then we'll see the first American spacewalk uh, by Ed White with the first air bubble flowing out of the helmet.
then you'll go to more hard evidence undeniable of uh, where they make these movies in a swimming pool and the Masonic uh, gesture, there you go flown astronauts. Eight and a half minutes we were to orbit and we got to work turning the orbiter into a, turn this, the rocket into an orbiter so we could uh, start with our mission. Open the tail bay doors and we were off and running. Almost immediately we begin the rendezvous. Somehow this doesn't of, uh, look real, does it? Uh, I'm up there in the front along with my core rendezvous team, Dave Wolf, who's a former ice cream salesman. Uh, Pierce Sellers, the snail farmer, and Pam Melroy, who we call Tank Girl. Imagine how that would feel. We're all on the flight deck here. We all have a lot to do. It's very crowded. We're looking out two tiny windows as we travel along. This looks real also. Very real. Well done. Both vehicles traveling that speed. This picture is about 45 minutes before dock. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see that we're... Now, this is head white. And this is the first... Uh, American spacewalk and as you can see that's uh, the first uh, American air bubble flowing from the helmet uh, and again a bit slower now look at that <laughs> that's so funny uh, oh, this is from Wikipedia so we can have uh, some knowledge about what's the thermosphere Probably should make a pause and to, to read it a bit better. And uh, I think we should change also the the, termi the terminology. It should be more like the thermoplane or the atmoplane because sphere. We don't live in a sphere, so thermosphere doesn't sound right to me at the moment. As you can see, the the area after 160 miles up is an acoustic so there is no transmission of sound or heat that's what they say why the international space station didn't melt down so far and why the octonauts uh, don't get uh, transformed in ashes uh, previously we were seeing um, a, a, a octonaut uh, swimming here we saw we see, we are seeing now some bubbles just getting out of the ISS and some of the astronauts. So that was the first one. This is probably like a five seconds video here, and uh, already two bubbles uh, were visible. So there is some more. There you go, another one. Lovely. It's amazing how these guys doesn't burn with 2,500 degrees. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the next segments uh, we'll be looking at EVA 30 and EVA 31 that were made with a GoPro camera uh, with audio. Here, uh, usually in these uh, uh, subaquatic walks, usually they muffle the sound so we could not listen to the real so sound that's uh, going on. Uh, luckily, uh, we have access to these two ones uh, like this. This is from EVA 30 and uh, we'll start to see some of uh, the bubbles and listen some of what's the real sounds of um, the spacewalks so we realize this is just a subaquatic walk so this is now I think um, uh, time for some shower air bubbles there you go, it's so many that the guy put the hand in front of the camera trying to hide because they, they were too many, but they keep flowing. 
<laughs> just too many. Because they keep flowing out of the ISS, the guy uh, decided to change the camera to another view. Hello, subaquatic man. Now here in this, uh, we could, can listen a breath of some scuba diver and the uh, bubbling flowing out uh, cannot have this sound in space to start you know, like super aquatic sound or blah, 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 bubbling and the guy <laughs> like Darth Vader now some more bubbles going on uh, put some slow motion so everyone can see these bubbles just getting out this one was from the solar panel ish <laughs> I think we cannot call it solar panels, maybe subaquatic panels or something like that. This is the real sound from the real subaquatic walk. Now, if we can listen all these sounds of this person activity, I think we can suppose that if they were at 400 kilometers high and the sound is propagated so clearly, so the heat and radiation will have the same kind of propagation transmission so I want someone to explain me how they can survive 2500 degrees Celsius here is a helmet and glove check and will be fun because the helmet and glove check is to check if they have water uh, that's fun. Water. They are in the vacuum of space. Should have no. Should be no water there. And, uh, and you can see that they float like they are in water, and usually the. The, the legs go up because it's where they don't have weight so they are pushed up to the surface of the swimming pool now here the the glove check and listen what these octonauts say One finger, two fingers, I have all my fingers, oh my god! Wonderful. There is no water on the helmet of the astronaut. That's very reassuring. You know, you are in space. We never know when you can get this water on the helmet. I don't know. 
look at, listen all these noises and tell me this is at 400 kilometers high in the vacuum of space where there is no molecules to make the transmission of sound and heat and that's oh that's a big sun as you could see when the the metal piece goes in front you can see just a small uh, light source Well, and that was a metallic bang when the guy went by this kind of metallic structure. So, if metal can do this, this kind of propagation, so hit. And remember, they say it's 400 kilometers high, 2500 Celsius. And then uh, it's again now another brain of air bubbles. Not one, not two. It's a gazillion. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I want to see how do you debunk this. <laughs> it's debris from space. <laughs> you have to be blind if you believe that. at that. It's too many air bubbles. More noise, more noise, and more bubbles. Look at that. It's not one. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it seems every time they bang some of some parts of the, of the structure, just a lot of bubbles flow out. Then they, they try to get the camera a different view, but too late. <laughs> 